dog is Limington Town versus Brockenhurst in a New Forest Derby. Clubhouse at Livington Town when they play Cal Sports in an earlier vlog this season. So it's a little bit different. This is the King's Arms pub in Livington High Street. If you come, you're doing a bit of ground hopping, you want to come up to watch Livington Town, you come up by train, you've got to walk through the High Street, you've got a selection of about seven or eight different pubs ranging in prices. Um, the King's Arms is good, reasonably priced beer, £3.5 for a carling. But the other bonus is you can watch the early game on one of their multiple TVs they've got inside showing different sports. And it's definitely you know worth it. Friendly atmosphere, always some good people in here. Um, and then you, all you can do, you stay for the early game, you head over to the ground and then you hit the clubhouse at the middle of town for another beer before the game. That sounds like a perfect start to it for Saturday. nice week in Malta where I didn't see weather below 30 degrees all week so I've got a nice little tan to show for it against Matthew's uh, ghostly complexion but yeah hopefully you've seen my vlog about the football out there so I've pretty much seen the same standard as here so yeah it's nice to be back on the vlog what do you think Matthew you happy to have me back um, I think the previous two were actually the best ones we've done well, yeah, well, <laughs> I'm not sure my partner agrees with that especially the eye candy part but yeah so I am back but unfortunately my appearance is going to be about as brief as Matt's appearance is at the barbers these days, which is very brief because I'm actually off to probably the best stadium on this earth next Saturday at Goodison Park to watch the mighty Everton play. So I'm going to leave the blog in Matt's capable hands again, but I will be back on a more regular basis after that. But in order of getting to today's action, we're actually at the, well, the big, many ways you can call it, New Forest Derby, the... Southwestern Railway Branch Line Derby, the A337 Main Road Derby, call it what you want, the Horse Derby, ponies everywhere around here. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to today, just getting back into the swing of things. I think Brock are doing quite well this season, Livingston not so much, but you never know in a derby, do you? So what are your views on today then, Matthew, in terms well, of how it's going to go? I, I think Livingston's full, uh, form has picked up school-wise since we were last down here. Uh, they lost 8 to Cows. Um, they were unluck very unlucky in the FA Vols against Fairham down here last week. They lost 3 2. Put up more of a fight. Yep. Yeah. Um, there's some positives as well. Toby Colmer, young midfielder, has got 3 and 3 games, so they are getting those goals. It's just can they not concede as much? Yeah, but hopefully that will come in time when they play together more regularly, as um, they are. Well, we were saying at Brockenhurst on the opening day of the season, Brock's main criticism we had was strikers. They weren't going to get enough goals. But they seem to have solved that problem. Um, Freddie Bullard's coming from Bashley, scored in his debut against Blackford and Langley in the FA Vars. They've had Mitchell Speechy Price, who's unfortunately suspended today. He's back at the club, he's got four goals since his return. And Leon Carbeo Borges is still a top scorer yeah. of six. I think one of them got a hat trick before the first half in the game the other week, and they scored five goals, which is rather strange because two games I've seen them this season it's been nil nil, but they seem to be free scoring apart from. <laughs> when I'm watching them. How long have you spotted Brockenhurst for? Uh, about um, three, four years now. I didn't. I just moved down to Southampton five years ago from Middlesex, and I we used to come down on cricket tours to Brockenhurst, and it all fell in love with them. And 
Yes, come and watch them after that. So what's the appeal of non-league football to you over league football? I first went in 1967, I went watching in the Murrah in the Southern League, the good old days, just getting crowds of 5,000 regularly. But um, yeah, I've just, I've just gone on from there. I, mean, I used to go to Liverpool and um, Football League, but no, I didn't enjoy it so much. Non-league football is the best, I think. You meet so many nice people, it's hassle-free and it's reasonably priced. Half time score is Everton 1, losing down 2. I've taken my hat off in disgust. No, I'm only joking. We're actually here. Livington Town 0, Brockenhurst 2. So, who got the goals in, Matthew? Well, Adam Grange scored the first on his debut, well, his re debut for Brockenhurst after signing from Bashley last night. A bit of a mix up from the goalkeeper, kicked it straight to him, lost possession, just tapped it home. We didn't get it, no. We weren't expecting it, to be fair. The second goal, though, Noel McCarthy got on the corner. Pinged in, a bit of a scramble in the box, and Freddie Bullard's made it two and two games for Brock and an ex bashy player as well. So, you well as to say, Limited have been bashed this off to be 2 0 down. Oh dear, boom, boom, boom. But yeah, good good first half overall. Limington haven't been out of it, but you kind of feel Brock and Erse could take the second half now, feel comfortable, maybe even score a few more. But let's see. Unlucky. I mean, I thought I knew though. Big Ed! Oh, oh, that wasn't very far away, was it? Oh, yeah. Never max yeah. away, was it? Yeah. Never max it either. I'm not to get it over. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
and put a penny in. You didn't do anything. Scum. 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 I've been wearing a week. Come on, Patrick! Off the Patrick! Come on! Um, so Adam, lost today, but encouraging improvement of performance, I feel. Yeah, I think so. I think um against Ferrum I thought we should have got a result. Um and today, for me, I don't think there's anything between the two sides. I think no. one, one poor mistake, obviously, for the, the first goal, straight after the keeper's injury. Um, and the second one, obviously, we didn't do too well for the cross at the back post. But other than that, second half, I don't remember our keeper making a save. No. Um, you had that it. chance right at the beginning, didn't you? Hitting the bar, that could have yeah. changed the game. It's fine margins in football, yeah, isn't it? Exactly, so, yeah. yeah, great save by Heath in goal, obviously, yeah. for that first one. That, that nicks in and, uh, who knows, maybe it's a different game, but... Yeah, a little unfortunate, I think, today. Um, how happy are you with the squad? Sort of difficult, obviously difficult conditions for this season, but they've, they've shown some good fight in the previous couple of games, I feel. Yeah, I think so. I think we've, we've turned a corner. So I don't think we're a long yeah. way away from getting that first win. Um, yeah, this is a brand new project. You know, we started in June. Um, if we started again now with the squad we have, with experience that has come quite quickly, I think, you know, we've, we're talking about Ferrum, who are a mid table side, Brock, who are sat. The third, fourth at the minute, and you know, for most parts of the second half, I think yeah, we were the better side um, against Ferrum. It was another close one, so we're not we're not a million miles away. Squad-wise, of course, a bit more experience is always going to be uh, helpful. Yeah, with Harry Yates to come back in up front as well. Uh, nothing against Joe Roberts. I thought he did a great job up front on his yeah. own. But Harry Yates, um, well, unfortunately, his flight was delayed. Otherwise, he would have been here today. <laughs> um, uh, Jack Bockhart, again another experienced winger, has come back in. He's he's not available today. Um, but yeah, the, the squad will get there. Like I said, it's a project. It's going to take it's going to take a bit of time, um, but keep playing like that, and we'll pick up points. No doubt about it. Brilliant. Yeah, Thank you very much. Oh, two 0 win. Happy with that? Uh, with bits. Happy with the points rather than the performance. Um, yeah, I thought um, most of the first half happy with. Second half was poor, really. I don't think we came out after half time. Um, stopped playing, sucked in just to giving them the ball back, just allowed a lot of the initiative to go their way and um, turned what effectively was a really comfortable first half into a second half that was not difficult but more difficult than it should have been really. But how happy are you with Adam Grange getting that goal in his debut? Oh really happy, you know, Adam's a great player, I'm really pleased that um, he managed to get him on board and uh, It'll make a big difference to us, especially when we get a few players back that we're missing today. Um, it'll form a good partnership with, um, uh, with Freddie, Mitch, when Mitch is back. Um, so yeah, we'll have good options uh, in the forward part of the pitch. I was pleased with um, Tyler Wellman came in today um, at centre half. So um, yeah, we've, we've, um, we've got some bodies on their way back, which. Um, Will, uh, will improve us as a whole, really. You mentioned Freddie Bullard. Is that an area you wanted to improve on when you brought him in and Mitchell back to the club as well, like the upfront sort of area? Oh, definitely. At the beginning of the season, um, we've, um, we've drawn um, a number of games that, um, that I feel we should have won. Um, felt we should have won the Baffins game. Felt we should have won the Shaftesbury game. You know, and um, so I felt we had to do something at that end of the pitch, really. I'm actually quite happy with us defensively. Um, you know, when I look at some of our stats, the amount of time we're spending in the opponent's final third without any um, results, really, in terms of even shots and chances and goals. Um, we felt we needed to do something at the end of the pitch. And um, the likes of Freddie here, you know, brought Mitch back to the club permanently, and now someone like Adam Grange, some good pedigree there, really. So once we get them all in together and all firing. I think it would be a pretty potent force. But, um, but we've got to play better than we did in the second half there. I think some of them are, are guilty of, sort of checking out at half time and thinking it was too comfortable. And just second half, so that goes to show that um, 
you've got to be a little bit more disciplined from a mental perspective. Brilliant. Thank you, Patrick. All right. Enjoy your night, mate. Good to see you, boy. Bit of a random link, this, and it doesn't include young Matthew because he doesn't sleep in the same house as me, believe it or not. But someone for forgot to refresh the record button after the full time whistle today to record our link, so I thought I'd do it now. But final score was Livingston Town nil, Brockenhurst 2, and Adam Grange got the first ex Bastion player on his re debut. And another ex Bastion player got the second, Freddie Bullard. But Limington put up a good fight today, I thought. Much more improvement on their previous times I've seen them. So there is hope for them this season. And Brock Nurse, great start to the season this season. They deserve their place fighting amongst the playoffs. So yeah, we're going to leave it here. Another good block. <laughs>